Whoa, look at that. That's gone out of stock already. Whoa, man. A 15 inch. Everybody wants that. You're kidding me, mate. <laughs> Right, Taliota Champs, now let's talk about the ultimate machine for creators, designers, developers, and social creators, the Surface Book 3. And I've had my little hissy fit about Thunderbolt 3, but let's talk about why this is the best hybrid out there, why it's an awesome laptop. We're going to go through all the configurations, and you're going to know which one you should buy. I don't want you to make any mistakes here. So yeah, I can't wait to actually get this beast in. Make sure you subscribe, because I'm going to slam this thing. I'm going to compare it to everything MacBook Pro you name it make sure you sub to see all those videos and yeah look at it it's sexy isn't it it's a sexy machine and you might think well they haven't changed the design much but hey the design was so good that it's still bang up to date you might think oh the bezels yeah they're a bit big but it's a tablet too right that's the awesome thing about this you can just whip off that screen anytime use it as a tablet it's just the ultimate hybrid machine and the battery life's going to be insane. You get new temp generation CPUs, graphics options, and an option of an RTX Quadro 3000. Wow, that's a serious piece of kit there. That is like, wow. So anyway, let's get into the configurations and specs and which ones you might buy for yourself. Now, the good thing about their site is they actually have this thing here. It says creators and designers, developers, social creators, right? So obviously, if you're a creator or a designer, which one would you get? Which do they suggest? Suggest a 15-incher. All right, that's cool. For a developer, well, you don't need GPU with that. You don't have to have a 15-inch, but maybe you do want it. Yes, they recommend both. <laughs> oh, they want me to buy both. Oh, God, I'm Rockefeller here. I will go to the US site. Hold on. So you're probably having a heart attack there with the prices. These are US prices now. So yeah, they recommend the 15 inch if you're a developer. That's interesting, right? They're saying you need the 15 inch. So you might need the GPU if you're a developer. Now, a lot of developing, you don't need a GPU. I don't know how many laptops I've sold and developers have bought them. And they've been MacBook Pros 13s with no graphics card. And yeah, they buy them. They love them. So here they're saying... They recommend you get either the 13 inch or the 15 inch. That's if you're a social, social, what is it? A social creator. Now I would argue different here. I would argue developers, actually I'll take that back. They do recommend the 13 inch for a developer too. I don't know what happened with the link there. So they're recommending if you're a creator and a designer, go to 15 inch developer, 13 or 15, social creator, 13 or 15. Now in this video, I'm gonna tell you which one I bought myself, okay? So we're gonna go through these specs. I'm gonna tell you what you need for what sort of purpose. Now, these are actually aimed more at professionals now, not so much at consumers. And if you're a social creator or developer, yes, the 13 inch can be an option. Now, should you get the 13 inch with the graphics or without graphics? Let's have a look here. We have a look at the 13 inch versus the 15 inch. There's the difference in the display. Obviously, the display is bigger on the 15 inch Higher resolution to 3240 by 2160 versus 3000 by 200. They're both 3 by 2 so awesome in that sense. Pretty much the same. They've got the pen technology, all of them, 10-point multi-touch. It's just pick your poison, right? What do you want, a 13.5-inch and a 15-inch? Now, interestingly, why I went for one over the other was, which I'll get into in a sec, is really, is there that much difference between the weight and sort of size? Yes, the size, a little bit of difference, but the 13.5-inch is more like a 14-inch size, and the 15-inch isn't that much bigger, and it isn't that much heavier. So there's not that much of a penalty going from 13.5 to 15-inch. Like normally a 13-inch to 15-inch, there's a huge difference. With this, not so much. We're talking 3.6 pounds versus 4.2 pounds, or 1.6 kilos versus 1.9 kilos. Now, usually there's like at least a pound difference there, but no, not in this case. Now, you might be thinking, what CPU do I get? i5 or i7? Before I get onto memory, the important thing here is the all G7. G7, G7. So i5 versus i7, just get the i5. Sometimes you can only get the i7 with the graphics card that you want. That is what it is. But you don't need the i7. The only difference between the i7 is a slight boost in the clocks and a slight boost in the graphics frequency. It's the same graphics, 
just a slight boost. Now, if you want to get the i7, go for it. If you want maximum power, yeah, I'm like that. But there's not a great deal of difference between the i5 and the i7. Now, even though the 15 inch does have the same processor as the 13.5 inch, it's going to crank up a lot harder. It's going to go harder. It's going to sustain 25 watts for a lot longer. And the 13.5 inch will go down to like 15 watts. So 15 inch is just going to have the most power with the CPU, even though they're the same. Now, with the 13.5 inch, you have the option graphics no graphics as they said are you a social developer are you a coder you don't need a graphics card for those sort of things if you're just doing productivity emails web surfing content consumption you know word excel coding you don't need the graphics card now some coding does need it but mostly you don't need it you would know if you need it or not so in that case just get it with the iris graphics you will be able to play games on that iris graphics as well so that means you don't have to get the one with the gtx 1650 in the 13 inch now with the 15 inch you get the graphics included there is no option not to get the graphics but in the 13 inch you get the choice and if you want to know how you can game on the iris plus graphics so the version without the gtx 1650 check out my surface pro 7 gaming review and you'll see in that you can even play gta 5 really low settings 720p and you know Fortnite and stuff like that so you don't need the graphics but if you want that extra oomph if you're a content creator or something like that you're going to want the GTX 1650 and it does have four gigabytes so it's a big upgrade over the last one it's a max Q version you're going to be able to game on this probably around the sort of medium low settings 1080p some games high settings you know around that sort of 60 fps mark now really demanding games you will have to drop the settings a bit because you are bottlenecked a little bit by a quad core cpu but it's more than powerful enough and for content creation 3d music production actually that's one thing too if, if you're a music producer you don't have to get the graphics but any other sort of content creation i would suggest you get the graphics there and what about ram i suggest you get around 16 gigs if you're a content creator if you're a coder and a social creator maybe eight will cut it but some coders need more than eight gigabytes so you're just going to have to work that out for yourself but for content creation i would go 16 32 should you go there I think with 32 gigs, you're probably better off going up to the 15 inch laptop unless you need it for virtual machines and or you really are a heavy multitasker with lots of apps open. You might want to go to 32 gigs. And yeah, if you use more than five Chrome tabs, yeah, <laughs> you might need 32 gigs. So with the 15 inch, they all come with the i7 and they all come with the 1660 graphics and you get 16 gigabytes as the minimum. Now, this is what I'll do if you're really a heavy user content creator and a gamer the 1660 is going to be obviously better than the 1650 but the big deal here is the six gigabytes of video memory that's the big deal so you'll be able to edit 4k content no problems it also helps out with 3d stuff anything that's going to be using gpu the 15 inches to go the cpu goes harder as well so if content creation and gaming is the stuff you do, I think definitely the 15 inch is the way to go there. Because as you can see there, 127 watt power. If you look at the dimensions, there's not that much difference in the size, right? 12.3 inch versus 13.5 inch, 9.8 inch versus 9.14 inch. It's not your usual jump from a 13 to a 15. So that's my suggestion. So which did I buy? Which one did I buy? Now I went for a 15 incher because, whoa, look at that. That's gone out of stock already. Whoa, man, a 15 inch. Everybody wants that. You're kidding me mate this is the one i bought the one that's out of stock i'll tell you why look at the 13.5 inch so 256 199 1999 so 2k it's 300 dollars more and you get a better graphics card and you get the 15 inch display it's not too bad but if i actually look at the australian store what was interesting for me here in the australian store was have a look at this on the australian store if you want 16 gigs and 256 it's three thousand four hundred dollars right so 16 gigs 256 and this one has the graphics right now let me change that to a 15 inch a 15 inch is three thousand seven hundred so 13 inch three thousand four hundred three thousand seven hundred there's not that much difference in australia before it was like 300 us which is like oh, these days 550 australian or something like that this is only a jump of 300 australian dollars which is basically 180 us or something like that so for 180 us dollars more 
I get a 15 inch. I mean, why wouldn't I do that? It's just no brainer for me to do that. And I don't need the portability. As I said, there's not that much difference between a 13.5 and a 15 inch, not the usual difference anyway. So that's what I went with. I went with this 15 inch banger and it's not sold out in Australia. In the US, man, wow, it's already sold out first day. And you can't upgrade the RAM. And the reason why I got the 256 gig, because that's fine, because I'll use some external storage, right? That's what I'll do. I've got a Thunderbolt 3. <laughs> I've got a Thunderbolt 3 storage, I was about to say. Yes, I do. I can't use it, can I? i still got other storage anyway that's USB-C, so that's perfectly fine, 256. For me, you can't upgrade it, so I would get the amount of RAM you need. Now, Microsoft, I just wonder, with the 15-inch, all right, you could have put a Comet Lake CPU in there, right? So currently you have a temp generation Ice Lake CPU. You could have put a temp generation Comet Lake CPU. So it's exactly the same. And if you think about the 15 inch, you always have graphics. You don't have the option without graphics. So why not put the Comet Lake